Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to unite or weld shapes in Illustrator. Uh, this is incredibly common terminology used in a lot of crafting, even in a lot of just general graphic design. Um, when you want to unify or make a few different elements in your design one solid piece so that it has the same sort of fill and that it has the same sort of stroke path around it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Um, First, I want to let you know, I'm using Adobe Illustrator CC 2019. It's the latest update that comes with the creative cloud of the Adobe suite. Uh, I also want to show you that I have my layers panel pulled out aside right here for you guys. And then I also have my Pathfinder navigation, which is right up here. And uh, you can you can bring up this window by going up to the navigation bar at the top when you're in Illustrator click on window and then click on pathfinder and this little tiny window will pop up right here. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, this blue background is just serving as a visual um, aid. There's nothing that you need to do on your file unless you happen to be using blue, but yeah, it's just there for visual. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw just a few basic shapes on my artboard first and Let's say that I want to unify these so that they're not overlapping um, the layers. So you can see that right now how it's designed is if I look over in my layers panel, over here I have all these individual circles that I've drawn that have a pink fill and a black stroke on it. So let's say I want to make these into one solid piece and I don't want to have, you know, this black stroke right here or this one here and I just want it to be one piece. What I would do is I would go ahead and I would select, <coughs> excuse me, I would go ahead and select all of the layers that I want to unite. Okay, so I go through, select them all. And then I would go into my Pathfinder menu and right here where it says Unite, I would just go ahead and click on that. And you can see that what it did was it took all of my individual layers and it united it into one single path. So up here in my layers panel now, I have a single path that is one uh, consistent color and one consistent stroke and I don't have any overlapping elements. So the thing to remember about this, and it's very important, is that you when once you create this and once you unify you can always do you know command or control z depending on which um operating system you're working on but once it is like this and you start moving forward with your design it will be harder and harder to go back uh to make some minor adjustments if you need to so like let's say for example this circle right here i didn't like the size of it or i didn't like the placement of it uh once it's like this i can't go in and adjust it Okay, it's one solid piece. So I would have to go uh, it back and uh, do my control Z so that I could manually go in and, you know, click uh, and drag it to wherever I wanted it to be. Because like I said, once it's united like that, it's not, there's no, <laughs> there's no really going back if you get too far into your design. You could always recreate it, but it's just something to keep in mind. So anyway, go ahead and show you again. So I have all of my elements drawn right here. And if I want them to be one solid piece, I would go through and I would select all of the elements. And also just as a little tip, there's another way that you can select similar objects that have the same fill color and stroke. If you go uh, up and again, up into the menu panel in the top of Illustrator on your tool, um, your taskbar at the top, if you go into select menu and then you go to same, there will be different options that you can select and you can kind of see it in the window off to the left right here. Um, but there's one that says fill and stroke. So it will select the same fill and stroke. So as soon as I click that, it'll automatically select as you can see everything that I have that is similar. So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, have everything selected and then click unite and there you have it. I have my little pink blob that I've created. So, hope that helped.